Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be installing a set of five five inch round spotlights by Zomzima. Let's get them installed and check them out. A big thank you to Zomzima for providing the product for this video. This light bar kit is made up of five round five inch lights. They are made from cast aluminum and have a glass lens to each one. The mounting brackets are powder coated stainless steel. In order to save space, the lights are shipped in two pieces and you just need to put them together. And there's a full wiring harness with a switch ready for these lights. And there's a set of five amber light covers as well. There are heat dissipation fins on the back and really good quality connectors as well. And then finally, there's a harness to combine all five lights together. The first step is to join the two light bar pieces together and then you're going to insert the two long mounting bolts. Don't forget to add a washer before inserting them. Now you're going to add a washer to each one and then a locking washer and then the nut to hold it all together. Using an 8mm socket and a 4mm Allen wrench, you're going to tighten these nuts and bolts. For the mounting bracket, you can remove the inner two bolts on each side of the modular bumper using a TP40 Torx bit. We're on the passenger side of the Bronco at this moment in time. You're going to put the mounting bracket on there. The mounting plate is going to face to the right. And just hand tighten the bolts for now. And now repeat the process on the driver's side. Place the bracket on the modular bumper and the mounting panel is going to face to the left. Again, just tighten the bolts down loosely. Connect the harness with the six plugs on it to the five plugs on the back of the lights. Grab the light bar and feed the wiring harness through the right hand side of the mounting bracket and insert one of the provided mounting bolts. On the passenger side, insert another mounting bolt. Using a five millimeter hex wrench, tighten down the bolts on the side of the light bar. And now you can insert the angle adjustment bolts and tighten them down as well. And do the same on the driver's side. And now you can go back and tighten down the mounting bracket bolts. And this is what it looks like when the light bar is installed. It's a nice snug fit, very close to the grill.
And here's what it looks like with the five removable amber covers on. Moving to the wiring harness, there's the switch, a good length of harness, the relay, the fuse, and the battery connections. And finally the connector to join to the lights. And we're going to feed it down through this hole right here. With the weight of the connector, you can just simply drop it down here and pull it out through the bottom. You don't have to remove or unbolt anything, you can just reach up under the fender liner and pull out the connector, and then feed it up from behind, in between the bumper and the grill, and then connect it to the harness for the light bar. And then just tuck it out of the way behind the bumper. Pull back the positive terminal cover, loosen one of the nuts on top of the terminal, remove it and place it to one side. And now do the same for the negative terminal. Just go slowly and be careful not to drop that nut. Now add the black wire to the negative terminal and replace the nut. On the positive side, connect the red wire and replace the nut. and then tighten down both of those nuts. Do a quick test by pressing the button on the switch. Your light bar should now light up. This is what it looks like with the amber covers on. and quickly removing the amber covers. This is what the white lights look like. As you can see, they're incredibly bright. And again here, a look with a couple of the amber covers added back in. And now to install the switch inside the cabin, you need to disconnect this white connector. Under the dash on the driver's side of the Bronco, there's this grommet. You're gonna pull it out, and that will give you access to put the harness through. Feed the white connector from the inside out through the hole, and pull it through from the engine bay. Put the two ends of the connector back together. And now you can zip tie all of the extra harness cable out of the way. There is a lot of it, so I bundled it and put it down beside the fuse box in the fender. and back inside, I mounted the switch on the underside of the dash.
nice, relatively easy installation. A few bolts on the front to get the lights mounted in place. That's the easy part. Then you just have to run the wiring, get it hooked up. Now you can either hook it up to an auxiliary switch, or in this video, I installed it as the manufacturer intended using the switch that's included. As you can see, they put off a lot of light. They're really, really bright. The connectors are really high quality. I'm really impressed with this kit. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.